Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Safe and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use Adalo to create custom apps without coding. We have a lot to cover in this video so let's get started. First you need to create your account from here. However, I'm just going to log in my account. I'm going to insert my email address, then my password. then sign in. So here is how Adalo looks like. Here it, you will have to perform three steps before starting to create your own app. First, you need to create to choose the platform, whether you want this app to be on mobile, tablet and desktop or just on mobile. So I will choose the first option and I will proceed to the next step, which is the template. Here you can choose among many templates, the one you like. So I think this one looks pretty amazing. So I will choose it and press next. And now branding. In branding, you need to choose the app name. I will choose it, for example, um, tutorial. And the primary color, I will use it. I will use, I think this color is pretty amazing. And the secondary color, I will use this one. So now let's create our app. So this is how your builder looks like. If you want to have full access on the view of your template, you can just press on this again and you can navigate left and right to see all the slides or all the components of your application. So this is how it looks like. If you want to edit on any of these elements, for example, in the welcome page, all what you need to do is to just click on the thing you want to edit and a pop-up menu on the right, on the left will be enabled in which you can edit any of the properties and functionality of these selected elements. So let's say I want to change this to do, I will just press on this pen icon and I will just write, um, element one for example and it ha and by pressing on done i will just give it a couple of seconds it did not change so i think this is not what is required to change from here so basically this is just a title or a name so let's make it back like this and let's to change this text and here it is changing. So basically to change the text, all what you need to do is to change it from here. Now let's make it back. You can also change color from here and formatting. You can change the font, boldness, size, alignment, and color. So you can basically choose any color you want from the gradient here. So let's keep it white. You can also edit style from here to access, sorry, to access more elements or many features by pressing on edit style here. You can edit the size, maximum length, a multi-line. You can edit even the opacity. So it's, it's up to you and it's a variety of features to be changed. You can also change icons by pressing on them. And here you can choose different icon from here you can also change the color from here. You can change size and you can create an action. Now let's navigate and search for an image to change it. Let's change this button first, this sign up button. If we clicked on this button, you will also access its, its properties. So you can change the type of the button itself. You can change um, the icon you can add an icon here, like for example, this, and here it is. You can also change button color. You can change rounding. You can even change the link. However, um, you can also add an action here. However, if you want to change it, you can press on this trash icon and you can add another. So by clicking on it here, you can um, choose 
where it will move or transfer the user when he clicks on it. So basically, um, the screen type is the sign up and the transition is push. So whenever the user will click on this button, he will be transmitted um, to the sign up page and the type of transition between this page and the other is going to be push. So you can change both from here. Perfect. Now let's look for an image to change. I don't think this template contains images. However, it will be changed the same way. You will just click on it and you will find full features enabled for you to change. Now, if you want to add a new element, you can press on this plus sign and you will be able to add a component like text, button, sim uh, simple list, app uh, bar and more. So if we added an image, for example, here by drag and drop, you can, by just clicking on it, as I said, you can access its its features. You can add an image by uploading or through database or through, through URL. You can also add an action for this uh, image and you can change its layout here. So let's just delete it. So you can add any component from here. And you can also add screen from here. You can choose the layout, lists, detail, and more features. You can also go to branding here to choose the color of your theme in case you changed your mind about the existing um, color. You can also access on screens to find how many screens you have and what your application is composed of. You can also add a screen from here, which will add a new page. Here you can access on your database, your database. Here you can access on your settings. And here you can publish. However, it requires subscription to be able to publish. Here you can access your analytics. And finally, here you can see the version history. So if you are, if you are satisfied with your application, you can just go to preview here to see how it works. You can also choose the type of uh, device. So you can use the desktop version, the tablet version, or the mobile version. Let's just use the desktop. Once I press on sign up, it will transfer me to this. If I already have an account, it will transfer, transfer me to the login. Once I, I insert my login credential, it will let me go to the other pages. So this is basically how it works. If you are satisfied with your application, you can just go and share it from here. So by clicking on share, it just allows you to preview it. So in order to be able to share it, you have to go to publish here and you have to upgrade. And by the way, um, the ways of publishing your own application is either by uh, publishing uh, using email uh, invites or by, or by copying the link to your application and inviting your friends. So this is basically how it works. This is how easily you can create your app using Adalo. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.